Now, folks, my interview with, with this uh, pilot stunned me because he, he confirmed what happened in the Arctic. He also confirmed the Antarctic story, and he said, listen, he says, uh, true, you don't want to know what happens when you go across this particular mountain range at the end of the earth. He called it the end of the earth. The end of the earth is what he said to me in this interview in 1991. Okay, I said, is that a colloquialism? Is it a euphemism? He said, <laughs> he just laughed, he says, no, I'm talking literally. That Look, I can explain. I'm sorry. I need to see you. Meet me in Fuller's office. I know the truth. Where are you? You could call it the end of the world. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Deary, deary me. There seems to be, um, you know, an awful issue and a problem with the message that I push and people fail to grasp it. It's not so some people don't fail to grasp it. It's just that they know that it's a threat to any manipulation or you know false reality that anybody wants to push. So you know, let's have a wee look at what's so threatening about what I'm saying and what it is I actually am saying um, the reality is the reality okay no matter, you know for me when this this um, question came to me about you know is the earth a globe I found no proof of that um, and then I assessed the situation that I was actually in and all these people who are pushing maps and models and making these claims and I realised very quickly that, you know, how are, they, how are they verifying or falsifying these maps and models, um, you know, standing in the, the inner circle, if you like. And it's a bit like that, you know, if, if you know, people are living in a maze, the centre of a maze their whole life, and then they realise that what they were told about that maze wasn't the truth, would the onus or responsibility be on them to come up with, you know, some imaginary model about where they think they are? Or would it be, you know, simple and logical to say, well, that's not what we were told, so let's go and have a wee look. So, and it seems that obviously if you've got something to protect, then that message is a real issue. So, you know, and these people who, who try and act like, oh you, oh, you need a belief to, to defend so that I can attack your belief and you know, I can defend my belief. You know, you need to be very, very suspicious of these people. And I mean very suspicious. You know, anybody who's logical and critical in their thought would, you know, knows what I'm saying is the reality and the truth. Um, and you hear them trying to say that you're shutting down imagination. You know, imagination has its place. This, this issue that requires no imagination. Um, you know, and this is what they constantly push, that you need an, a belief and an imagination and, you know, so they're trying to sell you a religious cult. Um, so, what is so threatening about that? Why is it an issue? Um, as I say, it can tell you a hell of a lot. Obviously, it is an issue if you're trying to keep control and you're hiding something, then somebody like me who's saying that, but, you know, it's going to become an issue. Um, what's the alternative? What is the alternative to what I'm saying? What you always see, these different camps with different maps and models are arguing with each other. Right, that's discourse, that's division, that's part of the manipulation tactics of control, you know. Um, so, if anybody, you know, I, I don't think any clever people are really, you know, confused by this. I think it's very clear for the people who know exactly what is going on um, with these wee groups and their tactics that they use. Um, it's funny because these wee groups, you know, every time I make a move, they seem to try and react. Um, you know, I've seen it before um, and I'm seeing it again. You know, they realise that, you know, 
when people see you, who you really are, you know, you've got kids and you're in certain, certain situations, they know that that, that um, people want with that or have, or have a trust with you with that. So then they try and mimic it. And all of a sudden you see videos of, oh, look at my, my, my cute kids and my grandchildren. And oh, eh. and while I'm doing that, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to pro promote these illogical characters who I'm here to support, like Jed and Laurie and Conspiracy Mystic and their wee, their wee circles. You know, and they all appeared in the scene and, and promoted each other to make each other relevant to try and keep an audience and, and cause discourse. You know, because what do any of these people actually offer? They offer nothing. They, all they offer is a trying to attack and slander personality. Um, they, they can never address any content. Um, and when they do try and address the content, they just make a total mess of themselves. Um, saying like, you need imagination and all these fucking crazy things. Uh, you know, the questions for is, is a science question. It's, it requires absolutely zero of your imagination. If you're trying to invent things and whatever and be creative or artistic, your imagination is great. But when we're talking about discovering the reality we actually live in, it, it doesn't require anybody's imagination at all. Um, you know, none of them can refute that. They're given the platform, you know, um, as I see, you know, many you've seen last night. Um, and they'll just sit in the chat box and hope that they can have influence that way because they know how ridiculous they're going to look when they're actually, you know, met face to face. Um, and, you know, and I'm open to anybody. The invitation's there and it's always there. And I'm probably just going to go live randomly now. I'm not even going to advertise it um, just to keep these fuckers right on their toes. Um, so when I do go live, you know, the invitation's there. If any of these clowns like, you know, Jed and Laurie and Validation Boy and other wee circle, their wee culty circles um, have something to say. They want to refute any content, you know, or, you know, have a discussion, whatever, that's fine. I'm open to that. Um, and I'm also clocking, you know, people talking about how when you say, you know, imagination and belief, this question does not require imagination and belief. You are entitled to your imagination and your beliefs um, about what this whole place is and whatever, but that doesn't mean to say that it, it should be pushed as any sort of truth. You know, people philosophise, people, you know, play with ideas in their mind, me included, um, but I would never come forth and make any claims any of that, that my subjective uh, imagination is true or holds water in some way, you know. Um, and imagining models and, you know, if something's unattainable and you can't observe and test it, then it's no reality. You know, that's why we have models of um, Star Wars figures and Spider-Man and Batman, because they're no reality. And the only model you can make of them is fucking plastic toys, right? But when we're discussing reality, i.e. the elements of the reality you're living in, you should be able to model it on any scale and show it empirically and empirically provide and prove any claims that you're making, you know? Um, any claim that anybody's making to you about reality, it should be re recreatable, observable, testable. End the fucking story. Anybody trying to push anything different, you know they have an agenda, right? Um, you know, see, it's interesting watching the dynamics. You know, and, and there's people involved in this who know me and my personal life and know who I'm. Um, you know, and they'll obviously be watching this and they can see these operations and play, um, it's pretty fucking clear and obvious. <clears throat> no. You offer them the chance to provide proof. And again, you know, I'm no a dogmatist, you know, I'm no closed minded in any way, shape or form. I'm the one who's here saying, I don't know and nobody else should be claiming to know and I always have been but they try and paint you in some group, they're desperate to try and pigeonhole you into some group and it's just never going to happen, you know, they're going to get their asses clipped every time they can near me or try this because, you know, if I've got the truth and I'm pushing the truth, they've got no chance. The only hope they have is slander, trying to emotionally sway you. I mean, it's so fucking obvious and... You know, to continue to give them a platform for their illogical, nonsensical behaviour is, is fucking retarded. You know, these people don't help to any progress. They cause nothing but discourse. Absolutely nothing but discourse. Double standards, shifting the goalpost, 
um, imagination, you know, all the tactics of cult religious behavior, you know, in order to keep it going. So, you know, as I say, I can see these fuckers as clear as day. They know I can see them as clear as day. And as I say, you know, you see them jumping and trying to adopt certain things that you put out there or you do, your mannerisms or how you're, you're setting your format out. Um, and they've been doing it for a long time, you know. They may work from a script, but sometimes when you get a rogue, they can't really script it. So they just try and, you know, go with it, go with it as, as, as it's moving, as it's happening. Um, and you're seeing that. So you need to be very wary of these, you know, manipulators, you know, and, and see them for exactly what they are. As I say, I can have fun with them, you know. I control them, no problem. My platform's open for them. Um, you know, if they want to come in and have a logical discussion and, you know, put their points across, then fair enough. That's up to them. Um, but do they know him but misrepresent and tell lies and try and blow things out of proportion? You, you, you've met these people in your circles in your everyday life, these fucking drama queens who cause nothing but discourse. And there's always a common denominator, you know, when you actually start to look at situations. Um, you know, and for me, you can see these fucking clowns as clear as day. So, as I say, <clears throat> you know, going back to the whole map model thing, we are under no obligation to represent any map model. The reality of the situation is, is that we have been sold a lie, or we bought a lie for most of our lives. Um, that is falsified. There's absolutely zero proof of it. And the burden of proof lies with those making claims. You know, you don't just make a claim and then say, just prove it, or, you know, and try and shift the burden. The burden of proof lies with anybody who's representing any model, whether it be flat, globe, or concave. And that's their problem. That's why they don't have, you know, face-to-face -face discussion and confrontation, because they know it's going to be highlighted as false. So, um, you know, and science... As I understand it, and feel free to refute anything I say, you know, has the ability and must have the ability to say you don't know. Because as long as you're saying you don't know, you can make progress and keep your mind open to the new possibilities. It's these people who claim to know that you should be very suspicious of. Um, as I says to John when we were talking the other night, um, I would rather be in a group of people who don't know than people who claim to know, you know. Um, because that that group is just going to be about discourse, battles, wars. Because people want to, they're invested in their beliefs and their, you know, their imagination. So they want to battle each other, um, and they get very offended when you say, "Well, I don't take any stance. I don't have any belief." Um, for me, beliefs are a virus. They're a substitute for knowing. Um, it's absolutely illogical to adopt beliefs, you know, when you can actually go and discover and know. Um, beliefs are for imaginative scenarios. Oh, I believe there's another dimension. I believe there's something that I can't see, you know. That's the language, you know. Understand what belief actually means. It's, it's, it's investing in something, um, especially something that doesn't have any proof. So, and it's certainly no science. So, none of these charlatans, you know, these fucking religious cult members, gatekeepers, mas Masonic fucking clicky wee groups, um, you know, they're not going to get away with this. They know it and they panic and that's why they have a big deal with me um, because there is nothing to attack. The only thing they can resort to is making themselves look illogical and stupid because they do nothing but try and attack the character and they can, they can do that either. They're blue in the face. It's never going to have an effect and an impact on me or anybody with half a brain that's watching. Uh, you know, it's only people who are as shallow and as stupid as them that, that actually gets affected by that. So, you know, let them waste their fucking time and expose themselves for exactly what they are. You know, I can see it clear as day. Many, many other people can see it clear as day. So it's just a matter of time before these clowns become irrelevant. You know, and all these fake celebrities who are involved in it become irrelevant because the truth is not going to be stopped, right? So they are going to be forced to either represent the truth or fuck all the way off, right? That's the reality of the fucking situation. 
fuck all the way off as a Martinism. <laughs> um, but you know, again, I appreciate people who came um, and watched the live thing. As I say, I'm not going to advertise it anymore. I'm just going to randomly go live. I may just go live later on um, this evening and open it back up again. Even if I'm on for half an hour, I'll give it half an hour for any of these clowns um, to come and have their, their say, to discuss any of the content or any of the previous situations that's happened before. But they won't, you know, and I'm going to call them every single time and offer them that face to face. You know, they're just going to look ridiculous. They'll come and they'll hide in the chat, but they will never come on camera. That says a hell of a lot. You know, cowards, absolute shite bags, right? Because they know they're pushing fucking nonsense and they don't have control of their faculties up there, so they can't hold themselves in a one to one. It's nothing about being intimidated. I don't intimidate anybody. If you're intimidated by me, that's your own shortcomings. You know, don't blame me for that. Um, you know, and people that fucking these morons will, will try and blame it in me. Ooh, it's, you're intimidating, you're intimidating. It's just their own weakness. They're displaying how emotionally weak they actually are. So, again, but it's all good because you, you, you start to see these characters and, and these psychological games and tactics that are happening. Um, and as I say, these people are nothing but weak. They're trying to adapt and move and keep up as, as time goes on when real people are putting stuff out there and, and putting their face up. They don't know how to deal with that. They can only try and adopt um, anything that you're doing because they have absolutely fucking zero um, about them. You know, they're just empty. So, as I say, just to, just to end it, Anybody telling you that you should have a map or a model to represent is a liar and a charlatan and you should be very, very suspicious of them. The reality of the situation is, is that the claim that was put to us, the globe, has been falsified. Um, therefore, we're in a position where we don't know the full dimensions. We can speculate and have imagination and philosophies, but that will never solve anything. The only thing that's going to solve it is full disclosure and full exploration. Okay, That will happen when people start getting to a point where that's what they want. They realise the, the, the reality and the truth of the situation and that's what they're demanding, right, and, and accepting nothing less. And as I say, that's my ideal, that's the only place I can aim for. If people are happy and content to run around in circles battling and bitching with each other about hypotheticals and each other's imagination, by all means, but that's a loony farm. And anybody who's trying to keep you in that is a fucking lunatic and somebody that you should be fucking watching, right? So, as I say... Keep an eye out because I'm just going to go live randomly. Keep these fucking idiots on their toes. Um, peace.